Yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. School is in session. Today's lesson, metaphor versus idiom. You decide which is which and who is who in this principle. Yeah, yeah. One of the people here, press on, crossing 5th Street, headed south, 5th in Colorado. We got some gang activity straight ahead, but I'm ambling, assembling forth, pressing on and legion about, pursuing happiness, sounding off with my life and my liberty on my property. And for God's sakes, I'm exercising. Got a gang member completely blocking at least one lane. The uh, southbound traffic. It looks like that's the only southbound lane, too. So, see, that car just had to um, cross the double yellow. Okay, I've seen that guy. Is this closed? Really I, I That's good. Last night. Yeah, and I'm fine can, right here. You can stand right here by the tree, sir. Is this closed? So, I'm sorry, sir. Is this closed? Is this a crime scene? If it's a crime scene, I understand, but uh, I, it sir, looks like, like this is open. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm not going to stand either. that far back. That's absurd. Sure. Unless this is a felony stop, I'm not standing that far sir, back. I'm you need to get a, some crime I'm scene tape. Am right I breaking a law? I'm giving you a law order. Am I breaking a law? If I'm breaking a law, I'll move. Am I breaking a law? Sir, I'm asking you. Am I breaking a law, Holland? Sir, why are you being difficult? Because you're you're trying to um, stop me from getting the story, and that's called prior restraint. I'm no threat to anybody, and I'm pretty sure this sidewalk's not closed. If it's closed, then um, there would be crime scene tape, and I would have just crossed the okay. crime scene. But that right there says sidewalk closed, but I haven't gone past that okay, point. You're right here. You're yeah. Good right here, right? And I mean, and laterally, too, you know? Thank you, Holland. Um, what's your badge number? I, I saw you on that stop last night, but I didn't talk to you, you know? Yeah, I usually like to uh, talk to officers before I meet you like this, you know? Uh, names. It's not nice to call the people names, Holland. Have you ever heard that? It's not nice to call people names. Have you ever heard that? Did your mama teach you that, Holland? Yeah? Well, I'm one of the people. Okay. Right? And so it's not nice to call the people names, you know? Did your mom give you a name? Well, that would be hearsay. Um, if my mom gave me crack cocaine, do I have to accept that? I would hope not. You would hope not, right? Yeah. So just because she may or may not have given me a name doesn't mean I have to accept it, right, Holland? No. That's she right. Gave me crack cocaine too? No, she didn't. Well, that's good. No. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that um, just because somebody offers us something, yeah. doesn't mean we have to we have to accept it. Fair enough. Right. The choice is ours, you know. Yes, and. Um, I, I'm not being a smart ass no, when I say that. I'm, I'm completely genuine. You I'm, know, monks don't I've use seen, names. I've seen you two games in a red, so if and I I've never been disrespectful, right? Them, right, I'm right, right. No, 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 you're not. You're not. You're not. You're, um, but you, you did try and like, make hey, me move all the way back to the tree. That's a long way, especially right. here in Austin. I just don't want you to interfere with this investigation. Well, uh, in order okay. to interfere, 3815. Mm -hmm. Okay, speech alone is never interfering, according to Section D. Right. And um, I would have to place an actual impediment in between you and your duties, mm -hmm. right? Which, uh, you know, if I was over there, like, I'm blocking you guys from your the car gentleman, or something. The gentleman over here, I'm just trying to give him the courtesy right now. Because right now, he's trying to concentrate while he's, you know, while he's, while he's speaking with the officer. I'm the gentleman? Yes, sir. Oh, that guy? Well, sometimes people are distracted by uh, things going on around them. Mm -hmm. That's called ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder. It's not my fault. Right. Um, I'm only responsible for my own actions and uh, provided that I don't commit any crimes, you know, I don't plan on ceding any ground. But like had I, you have told me to stop when I was at that tree, I would have obeyed. But then I would have wanted to know what, wh why. Why? Right. Because um, it just doesn't look like a felony stop to me. It's not a felony stop. 
right? And it doesn't look like a crime scene, right? Like a Wait, murder it's... did not take place I here. Call it a crime scene per se. Right. I would call it a police investigation. A police investigation, yeah. which is fine, but it doesn't warrant closure of a sidewalk for a police investigation. Okay, I guess the concern. Right. Maybe, maybe, you see what I'm saying? Started on the wrong foot. Maybe we started on the wrong foot. Well, orders are never a good idea unless you, uh, somebody's actually committing a crime. Absolutely. Right. If you have reasonable, articulable suspicion to believe that they may have or may be about to or are committing a crime, right, then orders can be backed up. Absolutely. Right. But um, I called your bluff because this isn't my first rodeo. Sounds like it. Right. But I've been bullied out of my rights before, you know. And so if I was unknowing, I would have just caved to your order. Right. And uh, because it can be scary, you know, a guy with a gun. Right.